A year ago yesterday, as a matter of fact, they brought David Feeling to the hospital. He'd been hit by a car, but he was yelling his head off about the forces of evil. They're out to get him, he said. Nutty stuff. Nutty stuff. But when the police started checking, they found three bodies. Is that David? Yes, it is. Where's he been? Electrotherapy. He's been a complete depressive since my first interview with him a year ago. So, as I told you on the telephone... I'm afraid you're in for a disappointment. Yeah, I suppose so. But I wanted to give it another try. See if anything new developed in the last year. The case is so bizarre, it kind of fascinates me. And frankly, things are kind of slow in the news business. What do you do to the guy in that shape? What do you do to the guy in that shape? We're looking for anything that will elicit a response. Some reaction to give us a starting point for therapy. We administer mild electric shock, stimulants, and... and a light switch. He can choose to turn the light on or off or either face the red wall or turn his back to it. The only thing he pays any attention to is that little cross he carries. He can find it when the police try to examine the cross. The only thing he pays any attention to is that little cross he carries. He can find it when the police try to examine the cross. Detective Harris. Hello, David. We can't help you if you won't let us, David. I think you're well enough to tell us about it. Why don't you try? Susan Turner, 
she was just down here from New York. I was, I was worried the professor wouldn't like it. Why, David? Well, he sounded so... Looks like we took the wrong road. Maybe we didn't. We might have to walk to get there. Dr. Waterman's place is in the woods a little ways. Why don't we walk up there and see if we can get a coat or something? Don't you think we ought to let Dave see Dr. Waterman? We don't know what his plans are. Water ducks in the car. What'd you put in it? Nothing. I thought you were supposed to put something in it. Well, I thought you were going to put something in it. Why was I supposed to? I... Come on, we'll go see. Name's Asmodeus. You looking for someone? Yeah, Dr. Waterman. That was his cabin. What happened to it? I'm not sure. Could have been a boulder from up above. on the other side, but it's too far. This side's too steep for the girls to climb. Would like to get to it, though. It might be where Dr. Water... What do you think? Ever unearth anything like this? Go back and see. Oh, not this kid. No matches. Tell us. We'll. All right, feeling better? Boy, I'd love to get this book open. Well, let's have a picnic and examine the book. Okay. You hungry? Frankly, I'm starved. But let's do find a more wholesome atmosphere. Boys go. Now wait, now be, now wait a minute, you're gonna break the point off that thing. salad. Joe's delicatessen? I made it myself. Then I'll stick with the chicken. Say, here's something I can read. Pretty well, anyway. It's in Latin. Forever glory, the and. Must mean and the. Kingdom, the is, thou. I know what that is. 
cave back up that way, we ran into some weird old character. Jim, I don't know. I just want to try and figure out this Dr. Waterman thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, the girls are going to be frantic, and I think we ought to get back to them. All right, let's go.